Yo, what's up? You're off in God's country with Reed and Dan Isbell, also known as the Brothers Hunt, where we take a weekly drive to the intersection of country music and the outdoors. Two things that go together like sultry voices and expensive cologne. Or property lines and ground blinds. Produced by Meat Eater and iHeart Podcasts. We're going to sit down with Dylan Scott today. Dylan Too Hot Scott. The real deal. Jerry oh. Curl looking good. Silhouetted. Dude. His voice is crazy good. Strong beard. Strong beard. The guy's just got it. Go gold chain. Great Rolling on guy. his wrist, man. He's doing the He's doing, the he's thing, doing it. Um, That's my girl. You remember that video, dude? Dude, absolutely. He was really passionate. I'm hooked on kissing you, loving you. Good is it that swinging thing? Dude, it's sick, man. It's like a halftime verse with a... It's sick. Not to jump uh, He's been around town for a while. Had a record deal when he moved here. Guy's been uh, guy's been doing it for a minute. Um, hardcore hunter, Fisher. also hardcore hunter, landowner. Uh, he just he just knows his stuff, man. Um, Going to get into some great stories with him. Um, yeah. So uh, if you enjoy hunting country music, you're gonna love his podcast. You're in the right spot, brother. You're in God's country. Stick with us. Dude, artist, yeah. artist, I will say this. Every artist. Does he smell good? Oh, my. He smells like a million dollars. You know what my wife told me before I left the house? She goes, you got that love spell on. That's what she calls it, love smell. smell. or spell? Love spell. Love or spell. smell. Love spell. What that means is speaking, I'm speaking. getting lucky when I get back. Hell, dude, hey, congratulations, mid, little midday. Dude. Congratulations. Absolutely. Sorry. Congratulations, um, dude. Well, I love to hear it, man. I love for people to get lucky, dude. Well, yeah, what are you, where are you wearing? What's the love spell? That smells good. So this is uh, this is Versace Blue. Ooh. Woo. That's all I know about it. <laughs> it, sm- it smells good. That's she like bought it for me, so I wear it. So. Heck yeah. yeah. Artists, artists coming here smelling good, and artists coming here with like looking good, like artist mode, you know, yeah, like with good. the boots. Marlo came in the other day, except Dylan Marlo. I guess. Yeah, he looked like trash. He came in with sweatpants. Always and, does. Sweatpants, Johnny, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, He's a lot of fun, though. No, he was fun, man. He was fun. You took him out on tour, right? Took Dylan out uh, beginning of 2022. Did I see a video of y'all wrestling or something on stage? Did that happen? Oh, somewhere? all the time. Okay. All the time. Yeah. Okay, I thought I saw that. <laughs> well, look, when you share the same name, you it's have true. to let the other person know who the better Dylan is at Ain't no all doubt. time. Dude, Ain't my no money's, doubt. I got, my money's on you, dude. Yeah, absolutely. He's That's just a thin. Smart he's, bet. he's a little guy, dude. You know? Well, he's just skinny. Yeah. You know? If you shave that, if you shave that mustache off, he would, he, he looked like he's 14. Oh, no. Doubt. Baby face, Marlo yeah. is what we're going to call him. He's it. a baby. Yeah. Baby face. <laughs> he looks like a baby. <laughs> hey, um, I'll say this about that joker, though. That's a that's a turkey hustler, man. I didn't, oh. I didn't know how hustlery he was. I mean, I knew he loved a turkey hunt, but like, some bitch gets after it. Let me tell you something. We sat <laughs> on a property line. We sat on our side of the property line. I guarantee you, for three hours one day, trying to get a turkey over, you know. Yeah. But it was a deal where it's not, it wasn't somebody else's hunting land. It was their backyard. <laughs> and we sat there for three hours. And this kid Convinced called. that he could do oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. never. Oh, never, he'll come. He'll come. They never do. They it never, never do. Does. Yeah. You know what it did? It went from that neighbor's backyard to the yeah. other neighbor's yeah. backyard. And never it was hitting them sunflower seeds, dude, <laughs> them bird feeders. Yeah. They know how to do it. He said, we're going to go hunt the suburbs. I was like, all right. Suburb we birds. We hunt the suburb birds. <laughs> Suburbs. That's a good one. Yeah. Dude, my dad's got it where he's my dad's got like an acre and a half in the back of the subdivision that backs up to this guy that's got like fifty acres and a big ridge top. He sends us videos every morning of about he's got I mean, he started with one bird feeder and then one turkey came. Now he's got fifteen bird feeders. You Your know what dad I'm does my, or the neighbor? My dad does. Oh, okay. He's got fifteen bird feeders now around that that place. And there will be twenty hens and four strutters in his yard every morning after fly down. And he just sits there and, and he doesn't drink coffee, but he just sits there on his back porch and films them all. He said yesterday he showed up and there was a bird, there's a single gobbler out there. He said he he watched the bird walk off. He went out there and was refilling the bird feeder. He could hear pecking on his truck, like something like and he looked over like ten yards from his truck and this bird was going straight up and down, strutting on his truck, thinking that he was pecking at another gobbler in the in the view of his truck. Does your dad know the neighbor? Yeah. Oh I was just sitting there I was just wondering, like, is is it illegal? If your dad was feeding the turkeys, 
but the neighbor was hunting on his property where there was no feed, but yet, you know, the turkeys were kind of mingling in there. I would think that would not be You know, I illegal. think so, too. I, would, that and, and, I, mean, is, I mean, is Dad feeding the turkeys, or is he, like, feeding the bird? Is it just bird, oh, bird seed? A lot of, lot of lime. A lot of gray area. A lot of right gray there. area. Yeah, right they, they eat the same thing, you know. Subbirds. Well, Subbirds is not bad. <laughs> like, Subbirds. Yeah. They, uh, Dad said that, uh, he was like, I've quit buying bird feed. He said, it's $18 for 35 pounds. He said, Crack corn's not or eleven, you know, or whatever. Which it is, is still really high. Yeah, it's still real high. Super high. Yeah. But bird feed is twenty bucks. I mean, like, I thought what happened? When yeah, did every everything it's, is literally everything in the world more expensive now? Absolutely. I everything. remember when I was a teenager, we, I'm from Louisiana, so we could buy corn year round for the deer, right? Yeah. You'd be yeah. feeding or whatever. It's like three dollars for a fifty pound bag. Really? Yeah, that's how I remember it. Three dollars. I can remember being six dollars. I can't remember being three dollars. But I'm maybe three fifty. My dad was buying it. Probably. Yeah, what is it now? Fifteen? Oh, sixteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. I don't know. I don't buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Louisiana boy, huh? Where are you from, in Louisiana? Northeast Louisiana, uh, just north of Monroe area, middle okay. of nowhere, man. Just yeah. yeah did tiny you, woods. Did you grow up? Doing it all because I feel like everybody from Louisiana duck hunts. Grew up duck hunting. They all deer hunt Grew and they all hunting. catch big fish. So I never got into the fish program. Okay. Mm. My uncle had a big five acre stock pond across the street from me. Sick. And so I'd go over there as a kid and catch catfish and bass and brim. Yeah, it kind of did. He it had for you. gar in there. Yeah. I mean, we, we had a good time. But when I got old enough where we went out on a boat, and you spent all day on a river or a lake and not catching anything, I realized real quick I, that wasn't for me. Yeah, I'm going to go that. back to the uncles and catch it. So. Man, you sound like you sing, and I'm proud of yeah, that. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of that uh, going on, you know? I'm, <laughs> well, glad you you, I'm glad you sound like you sing. <laughs> you, know? Oh, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. You know. That's another thing artists about. have. Or artists have like this, like... Why are you profiling him, dude? No, just I'm, not, I'm not profiling. I'm just like, they you sing. It's you, you're yeah, basically yeah, an artist, yeah. too. Thank yeah, but you. I don't listen to you talk versus me. Like, I would oh. much rather listen to you talk and sing than me. Like, I like. <laughs> me, too. But Dustin Lynch came on here. Which and might I, be possible if you would just shut up every now and then. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking about me shutting up now? Is that. The, yeah. I got to uh, get my shots in where I can take them. We got man. a problem on this podcast. The only problem with this podcast is people say is that Dan talks too much. Mm -hmm. So, just. Doesn't. I don't ever hear but that. But Dustin Lynch came in here and I was like, dang, that's the most pro voice, talking voice I've ever heard. And I thought the same thing about you. Even like when we wrote the other day, when I walked in, I was like, dang, this guy's this guy's got a nice voice, man. Like like just speaking voice, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. I yeah, appreciate dude. it. I work on it all Great the beard. time. Yeah. Great curly, the like flip the out curly hair back here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Thank do you, you have to try to do that or does it just do it? it <sighs> Honestly. You want to get into it? <laughs> a little bit. All right, here Because, I mean, my stuff does that, too. We're getting into it now. Right. We're right. real honest here at the God's Country Podcast. So, listen. I got <laughs> the straightest hair you would ever see in your life. <laughs> really? No, no way. Listen to me. Shocking. And so my whole life, I've always kept my hair short or a tight fade or something, you know. And so yeah. I finally, I've been telling my wife for years, like, I want to grow my hair out. My little brother. Looks like Jesus. Yeah, man. I mean, just long, flowy, curly, and I'm just, I'm so jealous mm -hmm. of it. I'm like, man, where'd you get this hair from? When well, you say straight, you mean like... I mean straight, you can't do nothing with it. <laughs> can't do nothing with it. That's Bro, why you I, talking about like that? Like, keep it short. Oh, I wish mine did that, dog. What? Yeah, let me see. Uh, he got some wire Look brush. That stuff, man. He got I some wire brush. Something might fall out of there. I'm right? talking straight, straight. Just Anyway, so long story short, I got a perm. Mom used to call me huh. Brillo perm. I got a perm, y'all. For I'm real? Sorry? I did. It looks good. How long? Yeah, just, there is no shame. I just, I no. just told Dude, the world. Bump my nuts right here, dog. Yeah, I yeah. got you. Yeah. Yeah. When? When? I don't know. Like a month ago. So it's still rocking, even a month in. Yeah, it's it's kind of getting. They tried to get me to do it on two. On... You don't need it. You got curly hair. You got wavy. I, like I didn't want curly hair. <laughs> yeah. That again. I, I I honestly got a little dizzy when I did it. And I, you're gonna have to give me ten or fifteen minutes, and then I'll come back. To it. Now I'll do it. I'll do it in ten. I just wanted some wavy hair, man. But I mean. Ooh, Dude, it, it looks good. good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looks good. But the ball yeah. cap on and the stuff coming out the back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your best uh do you like like spicy food because you're from Louisiana? Like Creole. Um <laughs> I, I like a, I like a little spice. I don't like hot. Okay. I don't do the hot. We had you to don't go do either. hot. I don't do hot. <laughs> we, we just had to go. You, no, I just saw you trying to decide on what you were gonna ask because we got so we, I know, this well, we got time, so man. we got you know lasso and back. Yeah, so, we get so far off. That's Reads the, the old pullback. Yeah, from turkeys to perms yeah. to spicy food. To, 
I mean, love spell, baby. Happened fast. <laughs> happened real fast. What is your? Do you cook? Like, do you do, you mm. do some like Louisiana recipes and stuff? <sighs> not really. Okay. No. So I'm from North Louisiana. We're we're not Cajuns. Okay. And huh. I like some good Cajun food, but so, uh, we're just man, we're just rednecks from up there. I feel you that. Yeah. We're we're real close to Arkansas. Not in Arkansas. Would never say I'm from Arkansas, mm. but we're not like you know your Louisiana. Cajuns. Down so does that make you an cooking. LSU guy or no? Yeah, I'm an LSU fan. I, I'll tell you what I am. I enjoy watching it, but I'm not your diehard yeah. gonna throw the guitar through the TV yeah. because they lost or whatever. You know, I got other things. I'm the same way. About, yeah. Same. You know. I think all that kind of backseats a little bit. Gosh, I don't want to do it already. Just but, do it. But when you have kids, dude, everything else takes a hit. Yeah. Including your like independence. Everything takes life. a hit. Yeah. Everything. You got three? I got three kids, two yeah. boys and a girl. You got That's a freshie fun. too, though, right? Yeah, five months old. Oof. Five months. He's the easiest baby of them all, though. Easy. He literally sleeps <clears throat> and eats and lays on the floor. That's awesome. I mean, I, we couldn't have got it. Sounds like here. me on a Sunday. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you used to be well, on a Sunday. I used to yeah. do that. Yeah. My wife was sick oh, okay. uh, yesterday. Well, she just wasn't feeling she good. She wasn't feeling good, and uh, I had them. And it was 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., man. And it What'd was... y'all do? Did y'all, did y'all leave the house? Yeah. we we uh, we, I've learned this. You kind of have to. It, it, the quicker you can get outside, the less. Like, okay. And the way I learned this is like Liza spills her whatever food she's eating that morning in the floor, like smoothie bowl or something. Uh, the little boy, my boy Boone, he, you know, he pees on the floor. So it, it, Anyway, I learned in, in that process that. The, if all that stuff had happened outside, you wouldn't have to clean it. No up. problem. Yeah. No issues. Yeah, you're, that, la- you're laughing at it. You're like, I'm, it. It seems like the quicker I can get them outside, yeah, the the easier life is. And I mean that in the sense that if they spill something, but also, and I'm not one of these dudes, but it seems like if I can get them out, <clears throat> a little sunlight, a little green grass, a little fresh air, they sleep better, they eat better. So I'm kind of buying into like, better mood. You know, get them out, dude. Absolutely. And so we we try to do that as as quick as we can. And my and my dude is just a walking. Does that? I mean, he he How old is he? What is he? Year and a half? What are they? They're almost two. Yeah. Or we oh, had so, twins. Well, we oh, twin cousins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I got you. So, my little girl <laughs> and his boy. My little girl was born thirty. Hours after his little boy, so like he was literally they were room. Did two. y'all just like leave a podcast together and be like, "Hey, we're about to do this"? <laughs> <laughs> my buddy texted oh, me when we had our kids. My buddy texted me he's like, "Hey, man, I knew y'all did everything together, but I didn't know y'all did everything." Yeah, this is getting a little weird. Yeah. No, I mean that's. I mean, literally, they came, met Boone, went home. Jordan's water broke straight back in, <laughs> and my parents were bouncing room from room. They were room two thirty four. Oh, we were two thirty six, man. Yeah, it was, yeah, cra- it was pretty it was crazy. cool. So we called them the twins, like my little girl yeah. and his little boy. We called them the twins. Yeah. So that's they're a year and a half. So he said. So he's dude, he's awesome. Tons of fun. But dude, it's just, it's the same thing. <clears throat> She's almost two years old, and on a rainy day, like on a cold rainy day, tough man. It's tough, it's and, and especially three- like it's fine that first because you kind of split it up in two because she naps at one o'clock to like three, so you kind of have the first part of the day and the second part of the day. First part of the day is fine if it's rain and dark. You you play inside. Mm-hmm. You play with the blocks, the letters. She plays with Tad. You do that that whole thing. Uh, goes to sleep, but dude, the afternoon part. If they don't get outside in the afternoon. It's it's hell from like the the witching hours. That, that's what they call it, dude. If they don't get outside any at all that day, man, you can absolutely tell on the days she doesn't and the days that she does. The trouble is when it's like mm. in the third in the low thirties and you can't really get them out, you know, because send just, them out there. They'll be all right. Send them out there. I know, but if they've already got a running nose, wait till they're to six them. and four. It's always wait till. It's always wait till they're rollerblading in the house. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. What do you do with a six year old when they came My daughter outside? walked in. I'm in the bed this morning. It's 6 30. Like, I'm about to get up. I'm laying there. I'm on my phone. Mm. And she walks in there. She goes, Hey. But how old's your daughter? She's four. Okay. And she's whispering. She goes, Hey. I said, Hey. Can I roll her blade in the house? <laughs> six 30. <laughs> and I, I sat there for a minute and I was thinking about it. She goes, I said, Can I roll her blade in the house? <laughs> I said, I heard you. I said, yeah, go ahead, rollerblade in the house. Now, this is not a, we got wood floors. Oh, yeah. 
not a good deal. Yeah, yeah. So about five minutes later, I walk in there. My wife walked in there. She says, hey. I said, hey. She goes, did you tell her what you, she could roll away in the house? I said, yeah, I just told you to roll away in the house. She goes, I told her no. I was like, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> like, you didn't come in here and tell me. Don't the communication tell her not was her. not there. Yeah. Yeah. But just, yeah, man, rollerblading in the house. Nice. It's good stuff. Yeah. That feel, 630 seems a little early, but I, I know, I'm, I know the feeling that you, that I, can, you I can hear the rollerblades oh, going yeah. across that hardwood. <laughs> just the, <laughs> She's good too. I bet four years old. Hey, she's good. Does she have the, like the the like the straight line rollerblades, or is it the four? No, it's the just skates. The four. The four. Yeah, yeah. I could know. I was terrible on those. No, I mean, yeah, well, I mean I no, you didn't. Backwards skating only. Like, yeah. Backwards. Did you used to go to the skating rink all the time. Did you do <laughs> races? Yeah. Did you do uh? What's the game called where you bend back under the bar? Yeah. What's it, that thing called? No. What's it called? Limbo. Like skating, limbo? Like skating rink or limbo. Yeah. Dude, yeah. the skating rink in our town, like, was kind of the place to have dude. a birthday party. Yeah. Back oh, in the it, was so it was a spot. Dude. Yeah. And it was just like every, like, when you see a video of a skating rink on a movie or something like that, it's the same. I, I swear, like, every one know. of those places. I feel like there's places, a little more meth and cigarettes at ours than they show in the movies. Well, I can't show that. I don't know. Movies, you should have went to mine. There a lot of meth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ours was too. It was crazy. Yeah. There was one little place in ours where, like, whoever poured it, like they laid a pipe or something underneath it, and there was like a little hump, so you could go, you could start Wait, at the hump. Where, what? There was a hump. Yeah, it wasn't on the very back. There was a little thing that you could jump, and you could just take off and make a circle, and then hit oh. the jump, and like try to do spins and stuff. It was sick. I don't remember that. Yeah, I never did any of that. I mean, I was never, yeah. but I did backwards skate because what they would do is they'd say back backwards skaters <laughs> only. And so everybody, <laughs> everybody that couldn't backwards skate had to get off. It's so like we were like, <laughs> holding hands, 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 hands with your girlfriend. Like, oh, oh yeah, kids man. got it good these days, man. No like we doubt. literally had the bowling alley and a skating rink, right? Right. That Movie, was in us. the movies. In the movies. Yeah, and now the they movie. got trampoline parks. Oh yeah. Been yeah. A, oh, those, been those look fun. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. a little jealous of those. I bet those are fun. Like as a kid, that would be fun. As a kid, yeah, I got on it on my son's last birthday. Can they let Ken grow? Yeah, grow can get on it. Okay, and I jumped. And I jumped, and I played dodgeball. Yeah, man. And I have never been so sore in my life. Oh, what was sore? Everything. Really? My fingertips. Sore? Sore. From jumping? I promise you. Okay, I believe you. Our bodies aren't meant for that after the age of 25. Dude, I remember, no remember no, back no, in the I day, though, when that. you'd spend all day on the trampoline behind all your day, house? Dude. Just, I'm just, mm, my dad wouldn't let me did. have a trampoline. Really? Mm -mm. He said his buddy broke broke his neck on it, and I couldn't have I one. I can see it. Dang, so I, I bought it. my kids a trampoline. First thing I did. Yeah, yeah my kids love their trampolines. Yeah, Last sure. time I think we ever jumped on a trampoline, Dan had some friends over there, and we were all springing Dan as high as we possibly could. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was as big Hang as on. The, double jumping. I was yeah. mid twenties when this happened. He's acting like <laughs> it was, no, no. I'm just saying this is the last time I remember. This is my last <laughs> yeah, trampoline memory. Yeah. And we were springing Dan. As, I mean, dude, we, he, there was like, was one, there was one branch up there that like, he was trying to reach. My hair was floating in the <laughs> dude, wind. This dude, was... We've had this same, this is the same trampoline that's in the backyard of my parents' house. Yeah, it's been like there 30 for years 30 old. something years. <laughs> and the lap, we went poo and got him one good time. And he went straight up. And, you know, it's like falling <laughs> off. Of, you know, he's like doing the, yeah, doing the flailing thing. And he came down and just like on his back and went, <laughs> and that trampoline went, yeah, and straight, th and straight went, through it. Boom, and just straight hit the through. ground. We were like, oh. Yeah, and it Did didn't really hurt, it didn't really hurt because no. I think what happened is like when it went down, it got close to the ground, kind of laid caught the momentum. There you go. Yeah, and then split. Yeah, yeah. Grown men on thirty year old trampolines, mm -mm. no go. You're right about the our bodies just aren't. They just don't anymore, dude. No, no, they just don't. That is. I mean, a, I remember a, I was riding with Randy Montana one time, and I said, "What's up, dude?" You because he was like sitting down, like ah. I was like, "What's up?" He was like. Pulled a back muscle. I was like, oh, dude, what'd you do? Were you like swinging a sledgehammer? He was like, no, man, I sneezed. And I was like, <laughs> yes. I was like, you sneezed? And he was like, yeah. I said, man. I said, I said, dude, like, what, what, when, when do we start stretching? He was like, now. I was like, for what? Like, to like do, you stretch to like do. He's like, no, dude, for life. We need to start stretching hey, to be alive. Man, I got a buddy that I didn't realize it was a thing. Wakes up every morning and gets in the shower and stretches for the first 10 minutes. In the stretch, shower. like knees oh, over I mean, down, toe dude, touches, toe. the whole. I don't even know. I don't stretch. I we I should stretch. Either. We sh definitely. I have should. a I have a crick in my neg right now. Mm -hmm. I woke up yesterday. 
I was turning like this all day. <laughs> and I don't know why. They said, well, you slept, you slept wrong. I slept well, the same no, way I well, slept for the past 30 years. You need to stretch to go to sleep. That's what yeah. all right. You just slept. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had a solid like three-week workout in the mornings running thing going. Wife got sick. I've, I've been out of commission for a week. Because it's just like, when you have kids, it's just, you just don't have the time, bro. Until they get in school. Kids. Oh. Here's another thing back to the kids. Once they start school, yeah. you get your life back. Really? Oh, you get your life back. At least between the, the times of eight and three. Yeah, like what percentage of life would you say comes back? Oh, so it feels like so much. Dude. It feels like so much. That's going to be great, Can man. you put a six-month-old oh, yeah. in school? You can, well, you can put them in daycare, but that's <laughs> yeah. going to cost you. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm sorry. Hey, I, I want to know how kids. we get on the list for Deals Guide Service, bro. Deals Guide Service. How you? How, how am I getting on that Ooh, list? I can put you on the list. I started last year, and is I had it, a pretty successful year. Is it waiting? Is it waiting list? Is it down the line? How many it's, hits do you have to have as a rider in order to get well, on the Deals I mean, Guide list? I don't know. 20 at least. Oh, damn. Okay. Y- y'all get there we're eventually. Way, we're ways out. Cuts we'll or there. hits? Oh, hits. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Ways out. I can't take just anybody. I'll holler at you when I'm 70. Huh? <laughs> bro, but Jordan was showing me. I was like, I was like, let me see some pictures of some turkeys. She was showing me, dude. There were. Bro, we you watched. Slammed we them. watched. I say we. I took some buddies and myself. <laughs> you took yourself? I took myself. <laughs> it's nice of you I to take yourself. I watched eight <laughs> birds hit the dirt in two days. Really? Damn, where? Tennessee and Kentucky. Really? Just like, I got these two days. I had a buddy from Louisiana come in, another buddy here from Tennessee, my buddy from Kentucky, and myself. I think somebody, maybe it was seven birds. Either way, it was a lot of birds hit the dirt in two days, and it was um, unbelievable. So you got places you can hunt, you're just popping? Yeah. Nice. I, that's, that's how to do it. No a doubt. Thousand percent. So I didn't start, Especially in turkey season. Turkey season. Yeah. I didn't start turkey hunting until probably six or seven years ago. Your dad, your granddad? Who, no. Who got you into Neither. It? Because in, I didn't hunt turkeys in Louisiana. Uh, it's hot. Okay. Mosquitoes are awful. Snakes. And I, snakes. I'm not really that worried about that. But they're Man. just hard. Okay. And then I went out to Missouri about seven years ago mm-hmm. to a buddy's place. They got like 40,000 acres, right? So we're just popping farms, man, all throughout the day. And I'm like, this is the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. And so I've accumulated some ground here in Tennessee, not on it, but we got permission farms. Yeah. And, hey, we just go around, hit them farms. If that don't work, we'll ride up to Kentucky. My buddy's got quite a few farms. And, oh, it's, it's awesome. So yeah. y'all are right there on the line. You're close enough right to, line, to hop yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. Is that over the counter? Mm-hmm. You got to draw for that. Uh, that's over the counter. It's over the counter. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can I, find. I, I don't remember. What's the uh, all right? In the, the out of those seven birds, what's the best? What's the best hunt you had? The best hunt I had was probably on my farm. Love that. Yeah, which was I bought this farm last October, and uh, I mean, I like a hard hunt. I really yeah. do. That's, yeah, yeah. That was that would be my my best hunt kind of deal. But this was this was an easy hunt. It was on, but it was on my farm, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the first bird it took on my Special. farm. Special, yeah. Dude. Um, a buddy, I let a buddy of mine shoot it, but it just worked out. It was just perfect. It was yeah. the perfect morning hunt. Everything worked out exactly how it was supposed to, and it was just it was awesome. There's something about we we I don't know who we were talking about that, but like taking taking folks hunting. And and, oh, and, and watching it. them, especially people that don't hunt a lot, like well, turkey hunting's a good it, duck hunt's a good thing to do. Deer, it's it's you can take them to deer hunt, but it, but it's, it's hard, it's hard because it's just yeah, it's it's slow. Good. And, and it's I'll a be honest with you, deer hunting is my that's my pride and joy. Okay, me too. Same. I love it. It's my Same. favorite. Same. Yeah, me too. Right, it's my favorite. And you know, you you spend all that money and get everything together, and you watch these bucks all year, and it's tough to take somebody out there. No and, doubt. You know, we'll go shoot a doe. Sure, man. You want to shoot a doe? You need some need some deer meat. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I finally have somebody on my team. I get railed about not. But turkey hunting. Let's come go. on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I, yeah. Plenty. I think it's a thing where like you take inventory of what you have. If you've got ample amounts, man. Everybody, you know, come on. But like with bucks, man. <clears throat> But you can only understand that, and this is what I was thinking about too. Like you can only understand that thought process if you think like that. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that doesn't, they're like, "Why don't you let? Why don't you let people come hunt your place? Why would you let people come hunt your place for turkeys and not deer?" You know, because they don't see, they don't see a six year old right deer the same way we do. Yeah, they see a buck. They see a buck. 
They see a, a, spi- a spike is the same thing as a 150 That's inch right. seven year old deer that you've been growing for five years yeah. and been finding his sheds. And but to you, dude, to me, that's that. I mean, I probably think about that way too much during the year. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that is what I and 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 and, and I mean, I love everybody. I'm you know everybody's involved. Go go for it. Come on. But like, I'm hunting that deer, dude. Absolutely. And, and, I mean, I probably got honestly another two or three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And guess what? It's gonna be the my son for sure. You absolutely. know, so it's like, all right, let's get it in. But yeah, oh, I get that. We've been, I've been watching a deer. I had been watching a deer grow for five or six years, and neighbor I, shot it. I finally got him. Got him oh, you got him. Got him this year. Yeah, Heck yeah. He was a big, heavy old six point. But I, I used that deer to explain if I had just taken my nephew or taken somebody in there. And they got, well, nephew's different. If he shot that deer, I wouldn't care. But if right. I'd have took you. Or some of my buddies that I just kind of take hunting. Well, he's got a record deal, so. He's... <laughs> well, that'd been different. If yeah. I took you and got cut your would, record, uh, an artist without a record deal would be like, come yeah. on. Dude. Everybody's like, can y'all take us hunting? Or I like, don't know. Well, never mind. <laughs> Let's keep telling you story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, it's 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 uh, it's a different deal taking people deer hunting for sure. How long you had your place? I bought that place uh, last October. Well, no, year year and a half ago. Be honest with me. Okay. Did any. Like, did you have any trail cams of the thing? Did, did that have anything to Before do with it? Before I bought it? Yeah. No, not a okay, single Okay, I was wondering one. if that influenced your purchase. Not a, but I, hey, the day I bought it, there was a trail immediately out there. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a stud on it. Really? There was a stud on it. But I couldn't tell exactly. I, I didn't know if he was four or five. I was like, man, he's a good deer. So I let him live. Yeah. And he did live. He made it through the season. And so this year, I was going to shoot this deer. Ain't let me tell you something. He was a tank. Really? I mean, a tank. You got pictures of him? I do. All right, we'll see him in a minute. Yeah. And, I mean, for 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 Tennessee, yeah, Middle yeah, Tennessee, no, no. Same, eight tank. absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I mean, consistent every single day, so every you, single day he was coming through, coming by the camera. I'm like, all right, it's, he's just living here, you know. What time of the year is this? All year. So I like mean, during season, uh, during season, daylighting, uh, the whole nine. I Dang. couldn't hunt the velvet. I'd have killed him in the velvet, but I couldn't hunt the velvet. I was on the road. Yeah. But and then you know how it is. As soon as they go hard horn. They go not it, it changes it's just hard. So yeah. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll catch him. The rut hits. A neighbor killed this deer. It was a mile and a half down the road from my farm. <clears throat> he got a picture of him that morning. Mm-hmm. Like early that morning, got a picture of him. Went straight in. So he went in at lunch yep. that day. That's how you do it. And killed him an hour later. Never seen the deer in his life. <sighs> Brutal. Mm. It was brutal. It's brutal. tough, man. That'll put you in deer depression real fast. Oh, I was in it. Yeah. I was in the stand when I got the text. <laughs> hunting that deer. I wasn't hunting that deer. I was hunting another deer. Okay. I was hunting another deer. On but, your place? No, nah, this is a place in Murfreesboro. I hunt. My man got spots. Dude, well, I got real lucky. Deal. My I got man lucky. got spots. My drummer, my drummer's parents, they, they work horses, like walking horses. Oh, and yeah. so they lived in Kentucky. And they moved to Murfreesboro to work at this other place. And the man that owns these walking horses and a bunch of other stuff's got twelve hundred acres right there. And so he's on the bus. And I was I was semi joking because I know how this works in Tennessee. Nobody mm. lets you hunt their property. Right. But me I said, Hey, you should tell your uh tell your dad to talk to his boss and see if he'd let me hunt his property. Hey, called me the next morning and said, Come on. No God. Nobody oh, hunts. You didn't on. have to swap no tickets or nothing? No. Jeez. Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. Twelve nice thousand, you say? 12, no, no, no. Did I say twelve thousand? Yeah, it's in twelve hundred. Okay, I think he said twelve hundred. Twelve thousand is like no. I thought that's why I was, my mind. I was like, maybe man, I was what? manifesting something. Well, I was thinking one yeah. man could have a tough time. Twelve hundred acres, acres feels yeah. like twelve thousand. Maybe, maybe need some buddies yeah. to have a podcast to come help him or something. Yeah. Um, I did. She showed me a nice deer. You killed. You've killed a, a nice buck off your place, right? Uh, no, not on my place. Okay. No, I killed one this year in Illinois. Okay. I had a bad season this year. Did you? Doesn't yeah. sound like it. You could have gone in Illinois. Yeah, well, it was literally the last week of season uh, kind of deal. Like, didn't even think that trip was going to happen. Yeah. Like, I waited till a week after Christmas and everything to settle down to even work up the courage to walk in and say, Ask your wife? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. whole deal. Yeah. You talk about it. Thought about it for six <laughs> days. <laughs> I, literally, I told a buddy, I told a buddy <laughs> right beginning of December, I said, Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go to Illinois. We'll go. Let's go. Book it. Didn't say nothing to my wife. Nothing. I waited until you got. I waited till after Christmas and everything kind of settled down. It was in oh, this yeah. little bit of a the lull. lull. Yeah, yeah. And I walked in there. I said, I said, just what do you, what do you think about one more 
quick little little deer hunt. Little three day. Yeah, Just little three day. Two nights. Like, yeah. And she was she was super cool about it. Oh, that's nice. awesome. She, but there's times she's not. No, oh, yeah. there's times she's not. And yeah. I get it for sure. I dude. get it. That's why I, you got fun. You know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I made, yeah, a t- yeah. I made a TikTok about asking permission to go hunting, and it wasn't like I asked permission to go hunting. Sure. Because everybody was roasting me about it. Like, you got to ask permission. What? No, right. dude. Oh, you better. Absolutely. You got to yeah, ask permission. Absolutely, yeah. It ain't permission to go hunting. It's permission to to leave you, honey, with the kids and everything going on. Oh, dude, you, you asked permission because you're a good dad and, a good, and a good I husband, that. man. I try. Like, I can tell. Like, yeah. the, the assholes that don't are like, hey, baby, I'm going hunting. You yeah. know, like. If she came in and said, hey, I'm going to the mall for three days, you'd be like, wait, what? No, you're not. You know, like, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah. Wait, what is I'm it? I'm just saying, I'm not looking at Jordan while you're talking about this. <laughs> no, oh, I, no, you're not. Like, you would just tell her, no, you're not. I mean, if she's hey, I'm going on a three-day shopping spree in New York, I'd be like, Let's, we're gonna talk. We'll talk about that. Well, I didn't talk about it with my wife. She went straight to New York that's three true. days <laughs> yeah, yeah. shopping. Well, that's because you went on a five-day Kansas trip. Did you do good? I didn't have a tag. I went for moral support. Um, Dang. Yeah, man. And, uh, man, I love it out there, dude. Yeah. I'll draw this year, though. Kansas is a different world. Did you put in last year? I did. Drew got a point. So uh, it's like 100% that I – well, should be 100% that I draw this year. But um, I think we're going to go kill some turkeys out there in spring. And uh, I like Kansas a whole lot. You been out there? Never been. I mean, I've been to Kansas and I've been hunting. Yeah, yeah. It's a different deal. I feel like... It's gen- wide open, right? It's wide open, but but genetically, I feel like like they're just massier... Oh, yeah. ...bucks. If they're they're cows, sense, bigger. They're cows, They're like bulls. They're as to cows. Where I, as to where I... Uh, it's, it's the same way, but I feel like... And I could be totally off basis here, but this is just from what I've seen. Iowa seems more of like clean heavy. You know what I mean? Like... They're mass, massive deer, but it's as to where Oklahoma, I mean, Oklahoma, Kansas seem a little more like gnarly. Does that make sense? 100%. Like not as, not as, not as clean, still same body size, giant, just dwarf the kind of deer that we have here in Tennessee. Oh, know? no doubt. I mean, a big one out there is 320, you know, three, I mean, that's a, well, it's, that's a, a it's weird looking at, looking at those deer on like, like watching those deer trail camera pictures because because we were watching trail camera pictures of these deer in Kansas all year next to, like, I would look at those and oh, then go yeah, look, right at, look to... at Tennessee deer. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you're looking, bro, you can't tell how big a Kansas deer is rack-wise, score-wise, because their bodies, bodies so are big. so big, man. Yeah. Yep. You can look at, you're like, oh, that's a nice 140-inch eight-point, you know. and mm-hmm. But get there and see him on the hoof, and he's a 155-inch eight-point. He just weighs 315 yep. pounds, you know. And so it's... It's tough. I shot a big one out there this year. And unless you hunt out there, unless you're from there, if you hunt out there a bunch, just say you hunt Tennessee. Sure. Or you hunt Mississippi or you hunt Louisiana. See these deer. And then you go see a Kansas deer or a Missouri deer or an Iowa deer. It's hard to gauge how old they are. It takes you a minute to learn that. It's crazy. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. A two-year-old out there looks like a four-year-old. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 100%. (laughs) Absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. (laughs) I want to circle back to asking wife permission. So, what do you feel like is the best? Because we look, we're all in this together, right? Yep. We should talk about the. We should formulate the perfect way to ask for permission. Because listen, I understand what you were saying in the sense of it's not that you're asking for permission to go hunting. You're saying, "Hey, babe, is your mental, physical, all of it?" at a place where you feel like you could manage the madness for this three day trip, right? That's what you're basically saying. Are you at a place where I could leave you for three days? So how, when you walk in, I mean, do you, are you like, we should first, cause what I know what I do. I'm like, I'm on, I'm on, first off, I'm going to run the, the floor steamer. Cook a couple, get some steaks from, well, here, no, I get a roast. Oh, yeah. That way I can put that bitch on when I, in the morning, and that way, when she gets home from work or whatever she's doing, there's already there's at least one. I've already pre-made you a really great. Well, meal no, no, I'm just one. saying you're not gonna you're not gonna ask her to go on a trip a night before you go on the trip. I'm saying like the night no, 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 of, the no, night no, you're gonna ask. No. That's what just, I want to know is when do you start solid. this prep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, luckily for for me, I was later in life when I got married. I was around thirty or somewhere in there, and I said to her, "Hey, look." Like, 
I'm yours all year long. I'm yours all year long. I'm your, I'm yours every, every day. But like, it's getting earlier and earlier and earlier. It's September fifteenth ish. <laughs> one, week, one weekend in August, the last weekend. Last August week now. in August, <laughs> and all spring. Yeah, like, I'm out, dude. And what'd she say to that? She was like, "Cool." She was cool. Yeah, because I said I'm never gonna cheat on you. I'm never gonna mess around. I don't care about cocaine and hookers. I just need some time. Kill some big giant whites. Yeah, I'm right, not gonna dude. chase women. I'm not I'm chasing not gonna, deer. I'm not gonna get drunk. You will chase some tail. It's but gonna be that white that tail. That white tail that pops up like this when it's yeah when it's running away from you when you missed it. From it. Yeah, after I missed. <laughs> 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 but I, I mean, so so there's that prep's already kind of that prep work was already laid. But I and, and the trips now have gotten where she knows all right. From I would say once a month, like from September to February, taking a trip. There's gonna be a there's gonna be those are gonna happen. slow down. Yeah, they're those slowing. are gonna slow down. There's, well, I'll tell you what's happening is they're getting shorter. Where yep. they were like seven days, now yep. they're like three. Yep, know? yep. And then maybe one five day are in there. Yeah, uh, but the I say I say it's gonna <clears throat> slow down. It's for me they slowed down because here's the problem: like your my kids. It's not even about my, really about my wife. I love her and something. Sorry, wife, but yeah, no, it's the kids. You don't want to be gone for seven days. No, that's that's a long stint. Absolutely. Right? Yes. And my problem is, is I'm on the road. Yeah, you're you know? you're so double, like yeah. I'm going Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days out of a week, basically. But I mean, here's what happens: you're going those three days, and when you get back, oh, your buddy wants to go on a deer hunt, and then you're going for another four days. Now you're going. Was four plus three seven? Seven. seven yeah. days. Then you got to jump right back on the bus. Then you got that's by three the time more days. Two weeks in. Yeah, you know that's tough. Yeah, I. You don't know this, but I went out on the road with Luke last year, and it everything went away basically because I was with him, and like when I got home, I wanted to be home, and I can't yeah. imagine. I I say this all the time. I feel like you guys who who are who are road dogging it, um, y'all earn every penny you make. For real, because that is a way of life that I I couldn't do it. I mean, I did it one year, and he's like, "You come back next year." I was like, Hell no, I'm out, mm -hmm. dude. I appreciate you. I had a good time. What'd you do? I guitar tech okay. for him. Basically, yeah. we just wrote songs and hung out, and went all over the world for a year, which was awesome. But yeah, man, but I love my kids, right? Like yeah. I'll actually like being around them. So I mean, I'm over there eating a turkey sandwich at one o'clock in the morning in England, and my kids are. So, you know, growing up over here in the States, and I was like, dude, how do y'all do it? How do you do yeah, it? Yeah, can't do it, man. Can't do it. I tell myself all the time, I never want to just wake up one day and my kids be 18 or 20 years old and be like, man. I, I missed it. I missed it. Gosh, just don't want to do it. I, 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 will t I will straight up tell you, on record right now, I would hang up everything I'm doing right now. Everything I'm doing right now, I'd hang it all up today. If I was going to be that way at 20, when they're 20 years old. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll hang it up. Yeah. No, I feel that for sure. I, I mean, I don't even see how y'all write. Like, because I don't of, hardly. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'll be honest with you. Uh, no, I did. Yeah. But I don't. I probably wrote four times last year. Really? No, I've written three times already this year. Yeah. Well, which that's is. That's right. Well, yeah. Come on. Hammer. Yeah. Hammer. yeah. Thanks for calling me. Um, <laughs> but I just, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it, man. It ain't I mean, worth it, man. Not, not on when the you're road, going, and then yeah. when you get home, they want to. You want to go ride. It's not that I, I love riding, mm -hmm. but man, I mean, son's got baseball. My daughter's in gymnastics. Got a baby. You know, it's like, man, I just yeah, you ain't missing that stuff. No, yeah, send me a hit song. And that's, no, and you know what? Yeah. Absolutely, they've been sending them. Yeah, so it's like, I'm, I'm who's they? Bro, I'm trying to be they. You ain't sending them to me. I ain't got you nothing to send you. Nothing. Oh, I sent it to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it, man. I, I say that all the time too. I'm like, dude, if I was a touring artist, there ain't no way I'd roll up in here Monday morning talking about, well, what y'all got to ride? About? I wouldn't do it. And either. there's people that do it. Oh, yeah, they're, they're animals, good. man. Yeah, but, animals. And, I, and more power to them. I just, man, I can't. We talk I, about it all the time energy, right? Like you yeah. only have so much energy bandwidth, so you give as much as you can to your wife. You give as much as you can to your career. You give as much as you can to your kids. And then you, and, and, and I mean, by the time you just get those three things out of the way, man, you ain't got much left, mm. you know? No. And, and you even like, I, I had a co-writer the other day. Uh, he's a vet and it was just me and him. And, and he was like, man, what's, we hadn't written in a while. And he's like, what's going on? I was telling him about kids. He was like, dude, he was like, whatever you do, man. He's like, be there, dude. He's like, be there. He's like, even when, like, he's like, I missed a bunch of that. He said, and I think about it a lot now. He said, and I was in the room with him. He's like, but I still wasn't there. 
you know he was like so so focus on your kids man he's like do that thing and 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 you see it like me and my I take my little girl every like try to once a week down to the Huff's grocery store and they sell biscuits and coffee and all that stuff and and I'll sit her down on the bench with a biscuit of bacon egg and cheese and I'll rip up the eggs and put them all egg and just sit there and, and and hang out with her for a little bit every morning and dude everybody that talks to us that comes by and these are people that that you know I don't know what they do for a living but they're probably not gone three or four days a week some of them might be but every one of them they're like hey man enjoy that right there dude yeah because that is gone in the blink of an eye. Oh, yeah. And dude, it it breaks my heart thinking about not getting to do that. Yeah. You know, and you're right, man. I'm I'm the same way, dude. If somebody said, "Hey, man, it's this or that," dude, I'm picking that all day long, man. I'll yeah. hang them up. I hang them up. So how do you balance it? How do you? How do you? What do you? What do? You, how do you make the most of your time? Just between like music and kids. Yeah, and hunting. I just, and hunting. <laughs> yeah. Put that one in there too. <laughs> That's my life. Um. <laughs> I try to involve my kids huh. in what I do. I mean, obviously, I can't take them on the road with me. Still in one bus right now, you know. Plus, they're um, a little bitty. I mean, six. Yeah, four, that's, that's that's a tough. My age. little boy's six years old. Yeah, he'll go out. He'll he'll go out with me this summer a little bit. I'm sure on the bus. My little cool. girl might. Yeah. Um, but I just I just try to make like all the social media stuff you know I, I involve my kids in that i just try to involve them in things like i had a label meeting a few weeks ago i took my little girl to the label really Good sit for there you, and man. eat candy and we sat at a big conference room table and it's like i just i try to involve them in that when that's I can. cool but as far as balancing my time it's just there gets to a point where you know this industry will man they'll bring you in they want you to do this do that do this do that do that and you just sometimes you just have to say i can't do it I can't do it. Whew, I'm that's not a, doing it. That's a tough lesson to learn. How yeah. to say well, it no. took me a long time to get there too. And I think it's just getting older. You know, I used to just I was the yes man. Yep, let's sure, go. absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, you gotta. I mean, you kind of have to be when you yeah. get here. Yeah, I just I don't know, man. I mean, when did you get? When did you get to town? I was 19 years old. Really? So I'm 33 now. So oh was, wow, uh, been the game a minute. Yeah. Wow. 14 years. That's awesome. Right out of high school. Yeah. Yeah. Did it. You like I, you already knew coming out of high school. This is uh, what you wanted to do. Yeah. So my dad. My dad lived in Nashville in his 20s, wanted to be an artist. Okay. And uh, ended up playing guitar for, you remember Freddie Fender? Yeah. You remember Fred, the wasted name days me. and yeah. wasted yeah. nights. Old Jam. school dude. Yeah. Jam. Ended up playing guitar on the road for him for years, you know, right, traveling the country. Met my mom, hung it all up, moved back to Louisiana, started a family. So I grew up with my dad, you know, playing music That's and whatnot. That's cool. Didn't really, as you grow up, you want to be your dad, right? Yeah, absolutely. You want to be your dad or no you doubt. want to be your mom or whatever. You're the first hero, dude. That's right. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to be a country music artist. And I just kind of never really grew out of that. Cool. I used to tell my buddies, like, I'm going to move to Nashville. Didn't know what Nashville was. My <laughs> right. dad lived there, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, he was there, yeah. And then, I don't know, dude. I just never, never grew out of it. Started coming to town when I was 16, meeting people. And then I graduated high school. And got a record deal with Curb Records immediately. Wow. You know, and moved here. And I mean, it took some time. Yeah. I mean, moved here at 19 with a record deal, writing. And I don't think we, I don't, I didn't have any success until I was almost 26. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So seven years. Took seven a minute to kind of break through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's were cool. you, were you singing and, and, and playing or learning the guitar when you were in high school, like like prepping to come to Nashville, were you doing the? Oh yeah, your dad kind of put you through. Oh, one hundred percent. I think this is the first story we've heard of like this. Like I knew immediately out of high school, I was. I didn't. Chase I didn't thing. know anything else, man. I really didn't. <laughs> like I didn't want to do anything else. I mean, I saw pictures. I mean, saw videos. Who's your of dude? My dad. Who, who was the, the artist you were? Like? Keith Whitley. Oh yeah, that was my guy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, my dad's old school country, so yeah. that's what he put me on. He'd be know? proud of that Jerry Curl, baby. Oh, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Keith Whitley had a perm. Don't let him fool you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, I just didn't know anything else, man. Didn't have a backup plan. Just knew I wanted to do music and just went for it. Just so you get, you get here when you're 19 – do you start? You just start the grind, like like going out, meeting people. Yeah. You, what you got? I mean, did you move here with a record deal? Or I literally you? moved here with a record deal. How really? does that happen? Yeah, Were you already work? playing? <sighs> just met the right people. No, oh, okay. no, wasn't playing. Never played a show in my life. Really? Never played a show in my life. Wow. Um, just through my dad's contacts of meeting other people in different contacts, we just 
Yeah. I don't know, man. It just all worked out. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. When I think about it now, I ask myself the same thing. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. Right. You know? How so you probably re up that deal plenty of times by now. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's another podcast for another time. <laughs> I got the same record deal at 33 that I had at 19. Dang, man. <laughs> it's like we a lifelong. They just signed you for life, dude. Yeah. I mean, let me say this. Yes. <laughs> Could I have a better deal? Yes. But there is no other record label in town I'd rather be at. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I put out probably between 21 and 26, I probably put out five singles to country radio that nobody even knows about because they're absolute garbage. Hmm. Right? Okay. Any other label in town, See old later. dad here be back in Louisiana. Huh. See you, Pops. Working in the paper mill. Right. Right? Yeah. But they didn't do that. They stuck with me and let me figure out who I was. And they, t hey, you go back and listen to some old music of mine or look at some old photos of whatever I had going on. Yeah. Don't, I mean, I don't know who that kid was. Okay. But it took a long time to figure out who I was. So, I mean, I don't think any other label in town would have stuck with me and got me to where I am today. So, Shout it's, out Curve, it's good. man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They're They're the great, man. I think the first They're deal, great. like the when I think of a, the first Dylan Scott song, I heard that. Uh, the first time I heard that hooked. Uh, hooked, hook, yeah. Oh, kissing you, loving you, man. Yeah. Dude, that is yeah. such a jam, man. Yeah. That's such a jam. Uh, what was your first What was your first hit? My Girl. Oh, See, that's, that's right. the one. When I think Dylan Scott, I think My Girl. My Girl. Because yeah. I was just like, man, who is this dude Like with this great voice like singing and meaning it? I remember feeling like, you know, because when something first comes out, and and you and you're not and you're not hitting like I wasn't hitting. And I saw this song come up. I'm like, man, who's this guy? You know, oh, you, you immediately yeah. like beef up a little yeah. bit, right? And then you're like, man, there's something about that that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And you're like, oh man, it's pretty good. And then it, it as, as as I saw you singing, and I was like, man, he this guy means it. Like I could tell that you meant that song, and it came across. I mean, I guess music videos were kind of still a thing then because I could see the video in my head. Yeah, yeah. So we almost almost didn't even record that song. Really? Yeah, because it's every line in that song is about my wife, except there's a line called uh, talks about sipping Crown and Sprite. Yeah. She don't drink Crown. Yeah, it just rhymed. And we had to put it in there. Sometimes but everything else is like it. it's literally it's it's my life up to that point. Twenty, cool. I think I wrote it like twenty four, twenty five. Like that was my life. And I, I wasn't going to record it because I didn't think anybody wanted to hear my love sure. story. So I'm just like, nobody wants to hear that. You know, they want to hear a drinking song, blah, blah, blah. And so finally enough, people was like, you got to record it. You got to record it. And I mean, to this day, I mean, it's probably still my biggest single as far That's as the one streams. I, that, I mean, story. when I think about, I can still see you singing that song. Who'd you write that with? Wrote it with Josh Kerr. Oh, yeah. Just two of Just, yep. Just Dang, us. That's awesome. Yeah, they didn't awesome. make any money on it though. What? Yeah, back to the deal. Really? Well, I, I did fix that. Move, I did move. fix that part <laughs> of my deal. So. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Absolutely, we're good. Yeah. It probably helped you make some money down the road. Though. Yeah. Oh, and that's the way I look at it. That's the way you got you know to, man. Did I make any money on the writing part of it? No. But look what it's done elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. And there's plenty of those things in the music industry that you can look at. Either the the you know you do them and maybe may not pay off right now, but it's you a just business, gotta have a good man. attitude. Yeah. Good. It's a business and it's a no business doubt. for everybody, so it's just it's part of. It. I tell me all the time, they're like, "Man, you could make so much more money if you did X, Y, and Z." I'm like, "Yeah, but look at the life I live now. Amen. Yeah, man. I, like I'd be literally, I'd still be in Louisiana trying to figure it out, probably. You know, yeah. so I, I'm not complaining. Yeah, the other thing is you can't really once this is your, your calling per se you can't really shake it like this is what we do it's yeah. what we're going to do and you just got to find a way to make it work and i think that's part of like as bad as i hate to say it because it sounds like i'm taking up for the business and i shouldn't do that but you you almost have to get kicked in the teeth a little bit on those things to to make it down the line and it definitely makes that down the line a lot sweeter once you do you know 100 percent. i just think if you work hard at anything and stay consistent and work hard then it'll pay off. Yeah, I, I, I agree, man. That's the. I mean, I think there's a problem 
not with any specific artists in this town, but I, there is artists that make the comment. They're just like, man, how does that person get it? And that you got to freaking work, hard work. Man. You can't sit there and expect a record label or a, a management team or what or some whatever else to make it for you. Man, you, you got to like, work, man. You sound like God's been in town for oh, yeah, fifteen been years. Here, yeah. <laughs> we all say no, the same I, thing. Yeah, I can put. I mean, if you if you are in this town waiting on somebody else to do It'll something never for happen. you, if you're waiting on a cut, if you're waiting on a single, if you're waiting on a publishing deal, if you're waiting on a record deal, if you're waiting on a uh, a show dude it ain't coming bro mm. it, uh, the one might slip through the cracks but if you i mean you got to get your hands in the dirt dog yeah. and 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 do it consistently at a, at a pace that is probably not good for you yeah. to 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 wake up one day and be like oh man i've got some stuff going on you know i mean and, and that's how it happens you literally absolutely. wake up one day and go oh for sure oh i'm i'm look at this yeah look where you i was know? six months compared uh, ago compared to right now yeah I yeah. always think about that this image I have in my head, and it's like it's gonna be hard to explain this for people listening, but it's like a long photo, right? And there's a guy with a pitchfork digging this. Is that a pitchfork? What is this called? I What's this called? A shovel. A pick. Pickaxe. Yes, yes. Yeah. So he's got a. This pick is axe. not something you created in your head. No, I've seen and he's this. going yeah. across like this, and then there's a guy under him, and they're at the same spot, right? And it's this little sliver of dirt, and there's this giant like diamond right yeah. and one guy's already walking back this way and this guy's still swinging and as ridiculous as that is you never know how close you are to busting through yep and the only way that you can't bust through is if you quit yep. and i know it's a facebook meme and i'm dadding myself by saying that <laughs> but i'm saying it's the truth man i think you've shared that on the brothers hunt before like turn, this old no man way memes. I <laughs> yeah no. dude the you shared swing. way worse <laughs> i'm just saying i think it's a motivational moment here don't quit swinging the axe, dude. dude you got to keep, keep swinging. No bro. doubt. You got to keep chopping. You never know when that diamond's going to be right there. Big one, too. As big as you are. As big as I am? Yeah. Or? It, in the meme, it was. <laughs> um, you got, we got a little stat sheet. Yep. You've got a new song out to radio. This town's been too good to us. Yep. Let's do it on the way in. It's a jam. Bucks Thank on the wall. I heard you say yeah, bucks, bucks, bucks on the wall. First baby. verse. I love Come when on. I love when Bucks get in there. Come on. Or wildlife gets in there. The first <laughs> verse. Dude. You know. You know. We put it in. We did hunting in our song. Like you get them in there. I mean, as fast as you possibly can. Absolutely. Um, I love that song. Uh, you got your deluxe album. Live my best life. Still. A little Still. Uh, with the things around mm -hmm. it. Five unreleased tracks. When are those coming out? March 29th. Oh, about a month okay. from now. Okay. Yeah. I've been teasing a couple of them. People's they're getting pissed off at me. <laughs> what do you mean pissed off? I just started teasing them too soon, so everybody's just ticked off that I'm still. <laughs> you gonna release them. these or what, man? Yeah, I hate that. But yeah. <laughs> How'd you tease them too soon? Was that is that your call or the latest? Oh, call? that's my call. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I do what I want. But... Hell yeah. yeah. I like to hear it. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. I like to hear it. Speaking of doing what you want, did you uh ever move that blind off the fence? So I did move that blind off the fence about two weeks later. You um, have no idea what we're talking about? I ain't got a dang All right, give it All right so listen give to it. To it. All right, so I've got several farms I deer hunt on, but there's this really special farm. I live in a subdivision right now. I'm building a house on my farm, but I've been in the subdivision for seven years. Next, literally butted up to this subdivision, is a 40-acre strip, Okay, right? And on the other side of that's about five hundred acres that this other guy owns. <laughs> do we do we want to be that? Do we want to be that specific? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's a judge in town. But anyway, <laughs> my guy does what he wants. Oh, dude. We gotta cut that out. My no. guy, no, we don't. No. My guy does what he. So the he guy, wants. it's my responsibility to protect the innocent here. The guy that has the five hundred acres. Is that so. judge? Is that's yeah. his responsibility? I ain't worried too. about the judge. Dude. I'm trying to get cut. Sorry. He don't hunt. I called him. To see if I could get permission to hunt. He said, well, my wife loves looking at the deer. I said, that's fine. I said, actually, that's perfect. Yeah, I'd yeah. let if her I look can't at hunt, it. Because, yeah. hey, they're going to, you know what I'm Sanctuary, saying? Sanctuary, absolutely. absolutely. So for seven years now, I've been hunting this little 40 that butts up next to it. Don't hunt his property line. I stay off the whole deal because I just feel like that's the way to do it, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I got a similar situation that I'm uh, I'm in right now. It's a honey hole. Mm -hmm. I mean, big bucks everywhere. Last year, the deer was a drop time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it blows my mind, the deer that's on this little – anyway. So I'm driving down. There's a, there's a high line that goes on his property all the way on my property. So you can see through his property if you're driving by. There's a blind sitting up on the fence line. Literally touching the barbed yeah, wire fence. Was, I've seen it. It's literally like, I don't mean On like, his side. But on the But fence. literally, if he's sitting in my blind, he can touch 
the grass on my side of the property. Correct. He can see my tree stand. If we he's can sit in that, here, we he, can wave at each other. Oh, you had yards. a stand? Hey, up? how you doing, buddy? I didn't know you had a stand. Yeah, up. I had a, I had a, um, I have a lock on it. That's really. kind of different. That's different. And it's kind of crazy too, because like I gotta walk by his, right by his stand, kind of to get to mine. Like, what if I got my little boy with me? Well, I don't know. Sure. Oh, you ain't going to tell us. Yeah, I guess it's not been the, there. It's yeah. not the guy that owns the property. I think it's some kid that just don't know. But anyway, I decided I was He probably going, knows now. Yeah, he about to know. <laughs> I put a... I went and got a ground blind, and <laughs> I put it up right next to his. The first video was like, what should I do about touching. this? They're touching. The yes. first video was like, what should I do about uh, this? Fence. He's like... The next video is like, I figured out what to do with that. Hey, and I got a lot of hate. He's like a a double bull. With a fence running between them. I got a lot of hate by doing that. Like, oh, you're so petty. Really? Yeah, a lot of people. Dude, I love taking hunting rides with kids. Oh, he's legal, da, da, da. And, And he is legal. But I don't care. No, no dude. Man. I'll be petty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's part of it's part of the learning curve of hey man, if, if you don't know what you're doing is, etiquette, is, is unethical right, right here in this in this hunting thing, then I'm gonna show you why it is. And boom, set one right next to him. Yeah, I did. I did. But I never I don't know. I never found out who it was. Is it still there? I had to move my blind because I needed it. Ah, oh, damn. So I lived there for two weeks. That's probably enough time though. Yeah. You probably got the point. Two weeks. I mean, surely he came back and saw it in yeah. two weeks. But dude, yeah. I've been I've been petty about that stuff. We oh, I have to. I Dan, have to Dan, calm. it drives Dan crazy. Because here's the thing, man. This is <laughs> you got to pick your fights, right? Yeah. Like you live there, so that's a that's different. Where where we run into it is Dad and Reed called me all hot one day. Hey, man, you know so and so neighbor? I was like, yeah. He's like, well, he put a note on he put a note on one of our stands it was like you're trespassing this ridge is mine. well no 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 mm. it, it started when clearly with, it, it is hang on it started with a lock on first of all it started with them cutting oh, the fence down man. they cut part of the section of the fence down okay so we're like all right that's that's not cool and then there's next time we go up there there's a lock on right where that fence is cut mm. facing our Fa- facing our and, it, and it's like dude it's it's like it's a, a prove it's, a point stand no it's, doubt. A, it's a great uh it's like a big oak you know, ridge right there, um, big draw. It's a great big buck it's hangout. It's a saddle where they cross. Yeah, it's it's, it's a jam up spot. Yeah. And we hunt it. So I was I was pissed, man. I was like, dude, what are we gonna do with this? And my dad, he's getting, you know, he's just walking around. He's like, they cut our fence. They cut the fence, and then they put a lock <laughs> on right here. These two high He's like, what are the, they doing? And, and I was like, yeah, dad, you're right. I was like, they yeah. did cut our fence. Yeah. I was like, what are we gonna do about it? He's like, I think we need to send him a message. And I was like, I think we do too. So I went back to camp. Meanwhile, I don't think we need to send them a message. <laughs> they live there. We we get, we go every every four weeks. You know, three or four weeks, we get a couple of days. This dude lives there. I'm like, he could just walk up there and shoot everything we have all week long. I get. I well, grab two. Or, I, I or grab, you. Yeah, or you. Or you. Yeah. I grabbed two old cutty backs that ain't worked in about sixteen years and put one like one on one side of the tree and Petty, then one on yeah. the other across that cut fence. And then I may have taken some uh some wipes. I don't know what kind of wipes they were and tied them up on the <laughs> we put the fence back up, like tied the fence back up, put some wipes on the fence. You're so petty. Petty. Next dude. time we go up there, the fence is cut again. Both cameras are gone. We go up to the stand our stand on that. Uh, saddle right there and there's a handwritten note with all those cameras all those wipes hanging on our stand and guess what yeah. this guy says he's a judge too just like your guy said. did he he sure did didn't he yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we still hunt that saddle and that, that lock on's gone so that's what I wanted to happen so it's out of here yeah. anyway Sometimes they call and I'm like hey man like what do you think's gonna happen here like we don't live there we go there every now and then They, this dude lives there and you're picking a fight with some 80 year old crazy Bones, dude. Be careful. Crazy Bones McGee crazy, up crazy there, bones. dude. He could, ain't no telling what that guy could do. I mean, he could shoot every deer, mess up. He could mess. He could run his dogs through that com- country if he wanted to. And we wouldn't be nothing we could do about it because he lives there. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta be petty. Sometimes you gotta be. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you gotta to. put. Sometimes you gotta put a blind right next to a kid. Oh, you, gotta, you, gotta a kid's show, you gotta show them a lesson. You gotta. Sh- you gotta show them <laughs> kids no, no, a lesson. Yeah. They ain't gonna learn it. Yeah. Show they ain't gonna learn it. It's up to yeah. you to learn. We're the old sometimes. timers now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are the old guy. Hey, I'm hanging. Listen, listen here, kid. get me right here. Yeah. I should have just kept it. I should have oh, kept, kept it going. Yeah, we're we didn't both know what we were doing there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there's one thing I love, it's taking hunting rights away from a kid. You know? Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. That's sometimes, the way you to do it. Gotta do, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Did you explain it to him? He's already, he knows. Yeah, he knows. <sighs> Is it time? Oh, my gosh. It's been an hour? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm sure that was important. 
what Dan was trying to say. But it's that part of the show for the one that got away. Oh. Puts that, was, little, that was beautiful. Thanks, man. Puts yeah. it in a different little different light uh, for that yeah. part of the show. Yeah, he knew that light. Yeah, I did. did. I'm no stranger to the rain. Yeah. Dude, keep going. Is it thunder? <laughs> Friend, he put me on the spot. <laughs> wonder. <laughs> wonder <laughs> me. Mm. Well, I fall with the devil. Got down on his level. <laughs> I suck so bad. Keith Willie would not be proud right now. I'm no, I'm no stranger to the rain. When I get that foggy feeling, what I'm feeling now. Anyway, yeah. dude, that was great. Cool, thank That's you. Great. That was great. That sucks. Sorry. <laughs> no, dude, that, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, this is part of the show. We we do the one that got away. It could be a. Uh, what? You're supposed to go. What, 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 what? I already did that. I thought we were just every time you say it, we do. That, Stop right? talking. Uh, we do. One it could be a. God, oh, wait, okay. Way. We, See, he's gonna put harmony on that time. Do it again. Who's doing it? You Me. Do. One that got away. Wait, if we're gonna do harmony, you gotta do a put a low on it. One that got away. So I was deer hunting this year. See, he already knows. I didn't even have to say wife or girl because you Aren't can't you do that because you're wife. So we were talking about that big buck on my farm that I wanted to kill and yeah, the neighbor yeah. shot it. So yeah. I was hunting the day that I found out that deer got killed. I was in the stand. That's right, hunting a different But deer. I was hunting on the 1,200 acres in Murfreesboro because there was a big, big mature eight point out there and there was this awesome 12 point. Ooh. But the twelve point I had on camera had these two kickers coming out the side. I mean, just awesome looking deer. Uh, but dang. he looked he looked four and a half to me. The eight was I think he was five and a half. I think he was. You're I, saying the twelve on, was four and a half? Listen to me, yeah. And you finna give him another? Oh, listen stanker! To I send a so I was gonna go in there function. after that eight point. Mm. And so because the twelve point just he just didn't look real. He didn't look that big on camera. Okay. And I'm sitting there. Respect. In the way. middle of the rut, and I hit my grunt about 3.45 early, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, yep, yep. hey, coming through the woods at me. I said, oh, here really? he It was a 12 point. He was a giant. Usually on trail cam pictures, right. they look bigger right. than what they actually are. Agreed. He looks smaller. And I'm telling you, he was a giant. And he's coming out, he's behind this hot doe. And he's coming out. He's all burled up, you know. He's he's looking around. So, you, are you immediately assessing this deer's old enough? Or are you still like I don't no, know? No, immediately new. Immediately, immediately okay. new. Yeah, I know. The immediately thing. new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't believe it. The button went off. This is immediately. Yeah, clear shooter. Not even that. Like I don't, I don't get buck fever. But I, I didn't get bow fever then. But I was literally, I was, I was beside myself. Hmm. Bow hunting, gun hunting, bow hunting. Yeah. Come on. Daddy. So he comes out. And I got him. The, the The setup wasn't perfect where I was at. It was a brand new stand. It was my first sit in the stand mm, yeah, kind of deal. So I knew I needed to fix some things. Yep. But anyway, I had him at what I thought was 40 yards. Okay. It was 30 yards. And I shot this deer with my 40-yard pin at 30 yards. Excuse and when me? I tell you right over his back. <sighs> and it made me sick. <laughs> and he went I in the know. woods, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, well, that's it. I mean, I was sick, sick, sick. Yeah. About thirty minutes later, this doe comes out, and it's his hot doe. So you know he's with her. Got to be. Yeah, got to be. Yeah, he know comes right in. He's twenty five yards below me, and I couldn't. It happened so quick, I couldn't draw back. And so I did draw back. I had to. Yeah. That was it. It was it. He was gonna walk on, and I draw back. Are you doing this or all the? Other? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the doe freaks out. <laughs> She cuts out 40 yards across the field, stops. He's right behind her. So when he takes off, I draw back, and he turns perfect broadside, 40 yards. I knew he's 40 yards this time. He's 40. Oh, yeah. You done took the shot once. Hey, I released this arrow, and I kid you not, it's going. 
straight for the freaking heart. And this deer ducks and dodges. Ducks and dodges? Ducks Dips. and ducks. dodges. And Dips. I missed this deer twice oh, in ducks one and evening. Dodges. Dips, twice ducks, dives, in one evening. Dodges. Now I'm super sick at this point, but it gets worse. <laughs> no way. There's no way. The story's way not over. It ain't over. get any worse, dude. Three days later, I don't see this deer for three days. Oh, yeah. He's out. You know, he's I just shot at him point. twice. Yeah, he, he's they took off. Yeah. But I got cameras all over this property. And so, <laughs> this guy, across, love the this field, guy man. across the field, I get him on my other, other camera with that doe. And he had done broke off this whole side no. <sighs> fighting. So now I can't even shoot him. <laughs> so I get to watch this deer the rest of the season. Do you, clear, do you see him like, sh do you have like, shot opportunities? No, nah, I never had a shot opportunity at him again. But I had him on camera for just. But I'm saying you could have. You, yeah, I just didn't go for him, man. I yeah. was I was going for that eight point, which I never saw again. But dude, I'm a believer. I'm a believer that everything happens for a reason. And next year he's going to be a giant. Year is going to be an absolute monster. Yeah, I just and you're going to miss him at 17 yards. I stopped seeing this deer <laughs> into December. And so I don't makes like, you wonder. It makes you wonder, man. I mean, that, but there is there, there's still hope that I mean, because oh, there's still hope. There's, Especially with there's, there's, there's deer yeah. after the rut. Deer come in, live on Absolutely. farms for the rut, and they go they go winter yeah. and summer somewhere else. So there's still. But hope. that's the one that got away. That's a good mm. one. That's yeah. that got away a couple times. But still open times. ended. Still open ended. Yeah, books still you'll have to keep not us, the end. Yeah. You'll have yeah. to keep us informed when you start getting pictures of him again. Okay. If you start getting pictures, you, you will. I, I choose to believe that you will. Thank you. Don't look at me when I do this. You will. Yeah. Sure. It's going to be great. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah. Um, now we're going to do Graverit. They've already. Graverit? They didn't tell you about this? We did tell Oh, you call it Graverit. Graverit. It's well, like the half reason faith, we, have half... to clean, we have to clean it up. Yeah. I was, because you, you can't say, because what, what we realized was that the greatest country song of all time and favorite country song of all time are very. are two extremely different categories. Absolutely. So what we try to do is put it together where it's like, you know, like Just your middle cornerstone ground. country song. Yeah, and so far nothing's <clears> overlapped. <throat> so what do you when you think of like the greatest favorite graverite song of your experience? What does that look like? Mm, let me see. Oh yes! Oh, yes. Oh. First time this has happened. Excited first about time? it. First time? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's great. I'm I'm really pumped about you it. You ready for this one? Yep. Back looks awesome. By the way. Front looks good too. You like the back? Yeah. Front you, looks you good. You missed too. a part. But Front iron looks in great right too. here, but all right. Let's see if we can do this. Here's my grave writ. Grave Grave writ. You got it. Okay. Here we go. Sawmill grave writ. Well, everybody talks about the California quakes, but the first time I ever felt the earth shake was in Miami. Come you like on. That? Exclusive. When Amy right here. touched me. Oh, it shook me. I told her I loved her and I wanted to stay. She said, be sure, I'll call you in L.A. Well, leaving in this taxi, I can hear my telephone ring. Calling me from Miami. Miami. What took you so long? I thought you'd never call. Miami, Miami. Oh, Miami, Miami loves me after all. Come on now, man. Can we get a clap from everybody? My everybody Amy, in the room. Let's, Amy let's... loves me after all. That's my favorite. Dude. That's one of my favorites. I got chill bumps on the chicken skin right well, here. Well, I had to re after I screwed up uh, No Strength oh, to the Rain, I, that one, I had to do You flexed on so, that one, though. Yeah, you flexed. That was He said, give me that guitar, dude. dude. And just owned it. Owned dude, does what he, good. dude does what he does. You sound good. Thanks, man. Man, you sounded really good. We try Appreciate not to that. pressure people into singing because we don't want them to feel like they have to come 
do that. But after you yeah. botched the other thing, it was probably a good move <laughs> on your <laughs> part. Bro. You did, I you did good. No, he knows. You know, game recognized game. Dude. The guy, yeah, you know, did good. But he completely <laughs> redeemed himself. Then he go do something <laughs> like that. He completely, completely redeemed himself. Yeah, he did. Was, that was, I, yeah. That was gas. Chill bumps right on chicken skin. Hey, Dylan, you're a great singer and a great dad. And a great deer hunter, and I treated you like we were better friends than we are, and I apologize for that. But thanks for letting me do that. Absolutely, and thanks dude. for coming and hanging out with us. That thanks was a lot of fun. Dylan yeah. Scott, everybody, he's a he's a real deal. Um, hope you no enjoyed this one. Uh, the real deal. Oh, the real. <laughs>